Gracias, que Carlos Tirfete, which means hello and welcome in Greek to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making Lebanese style fried cauliflower. Now, I've tested both the fried and the roasted, so I'm going to show you how to make both, and then we're going to decide at the end which one tastes better. Easy. It's so easy. This one has been, this recipe has been requested by Aaron Fagley. I hope I pronounced your name right, Aaron, over on Instagram. He asked for this a little while ago and I thought it would be perfect to share because it's really one ingredient, the cauliflower, with some seasonings and then you serve it with your favorite dips and sauces. You could even make a sandwich out of it, make it as a side, as an appetizer and it is absolutely divine. Let's get started. So you're gonna start off with a whole cauliflower. I'm using two because I'm frying one and roasting one and we all love it around here. So you, to take care of a cauliflower, you wanna get rid of the stem very carefully. And also the, of the leaves and then cut it down the center, which you could have probably done first. It seems to be safer. But anyway, I'm not a trained chef, you guys. I'm a home cook. <laughs> anyway, and then you remove the florets. You can help your knife to get rid of any of that hard stem. But don't waste it because when, when it fries up, it becomes nice and tender. So save, of it, save as much of it as you can. And the big florets, you can definitely cut in half. And I'm leaving this leaf because I like it. And you want to lay them flat. Try to get them around the same size. I mean, it's going to be kind of hard and lay them flat on the baking pan. Then you want to drizzle some olive oil, about a quarter cup or so, on top. And then we're going to season with some salt and a little bit of cumin powder for warmth. And you want to make sure you season both sides. And then just toss everything all together and put it all out on one layer. Now you want to make sure that your oven is preheated to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to bake these on the center rack we're going to roast these on the center rack for 25 to 30 minutes. Halfway through, you're going to want to go in and flip them over and then let them go until they're beautifully caramelized and golden or as golden as possible. The more caramelized they get, the, little, the sweeter they're going to get and more intense their flavor is going to get. If you want to add a little more color, if your oven doesn't cook with that much um, intensity, I guess, then turn on the broiler for the last minute or so to get that nice color. But keep an eye on it because you don't want it to burn. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it comes out. And now we're going to fry the second cauliflower. Get some vegetable oil heating over medium high heat. Get it to about 375 degrees Fahrenheit and separate your florets and everything. And you don't have to season them. You're just going to carefully get them in the oil. And try not to put too many in because of the oil, uh, the temperature's oil drops too fast. They're going to absorb that oil and become soggier than they need to be. You just want to cook them until they're nice and golden all around. That's going to take about seven minutes or so. And I like to use this thing, the screen thing, to cover to reduce the oil splatter. And you do want to turn them often, about every few minutes, so that way they, they become nice and golden all around. And then have a plate or tray ready lined with some paper towels. So that way once you put the, once you transfer the fried cauliflower onto there, it absorbs all of the excess oil. So as soon as the cauliflower are nice and golden, take them out and with the strainer, make sure that you uh, let all of that excess oil drip down back into the frying pan and then put the cauliflower onto the tray or pan that has been lined with paper towels to absorb the excess oil. And while they're hot, you want to season them with some salt. Season them really well because they haven't been seasoned at all. And then I also like to add a little bit of heat with warmth with the um, cumin powder and a little tangy kick with sumac. Sumac can be found in a Middle Eastern grocery store, Mediterranean stores have them. And then just toss them all around to make sure that they're all coated. And then I'm gonna get that paper towel out of there because that does not do anything for presentation. A little bit of salt and the fried I keep calling them eggplant. <laughs> the fried cauliflower are ready. I'm waiting a few more minutes for the cauliflower that's in the oven to continue roasting. And then I'm gonna put them both together and we're gonna do a taste test. Okay, the time is here to do the taste test. Now, as you can see, the, for the fried ones are deeply golden and they have a beautiful, nice color. And then the roasted ones, they have some patches of color on them and they're a little more pale. If the roasted ones taste better, I would go for that because the smell of frying cauliflower is, as you can imagine, not the best. <laughs> so you're going to want to have to light some candles and boil some vanilla and do all of that good stuff once you're done. 
it is time to take a bite where I'm gonna taste the roasted, the roasted cauliflower first. Oh, and one more thing. Once the roasted cauliflower come out of the oven, go ahead and transfer them to a serving tray, and then you can sprinkle both of them with some freshly chopped mint, parsley, or basil. I use mint today. I think I already said to season the, the fried cauliflower really well. We already covered that. Now, I like to serve this with harissa sauce. I like to make my homemade harissa, and you can get that recipe over here. And I also like to serve it with shawarma sauce, so either of the two. Traditionally, this is served with uh, tahini sauce, I do have a recipe. I was out of tahini paste, so I didn't make it today, but I do have a recipe of that. You can serve that as well. Also, you can do tzatziki, it's up to you. And in Lebanon, they make a Lebanese tomb sauce, which is basically a really rich garlic sauce. If you want me to teach you how to make that, comment down below and I'll teach you that as well. But I'm drooling over here and I have to take a bite. I'm gonna dip the roasted cauliflower in the shawarma sauce. I love roasted cauliflower. It's tender, it's sweet, perfectly cooked and I think it tastes amazing. So definitely two thumbs up for the roasted cauliflower. Now let's try the fried and the fried cauliflower I'll dip in the harissa to get a little bit of a spicy kick. Okay, so here's the difference. They're both so, so good. The fried cauliflower is softer. It's a little bit softer and you could probably get that texture if you roasted the roasted cauliflower a little bit longer. That can happen too. It's really soft. It does absorb a little bit of the oil, so it's kind of greasy. I don't know, it's so good. And then it did absorb all of, the, all of the seasonings that we put on top. I like the sumac. I love the mint on it and the cumin. It definitely absorbed all of those flavors. You could also squeeze some lemon on top. They're both delicious, but if I had to choose, this is a tough one. I would have to say the roasted cauliflower. I like it because it's a little more fresh tasting and I feel like I could eat a whole bunch and not get that really heavy feeling that you get when you eat a lot of fried foods. You guys give them a try and let me know which one you like better in the comment section down below. If you want to learn how to make these delicious sauces, then click on this card over here and I will see you right over there. Kaleo Alexi everyone. Yes, us.